track and sign. I'm sure I'm good at that. I spend most of my time on the ground since I was a young boy. Small tracks, they can learn it for me. I can show you this one. It's fresh, that one is not fresh, that one's old one. He recognized that it was money and soft soil, that's why it splayed its hoof like that. Tracks, I believe I did quite well, and the walk. I call it the multiply toilet paper. It was quite very soft. The thing that I enjoy the most in the bush is the walking. So they, they reckon with giraffe even, the little ants will come out and go into the giraffes. <laughs> nasal cavity and it gets really annoying and, and with the elephants too. It's important to understand that it is a last resort so we certainly don't try and encourage that people put their faith and their trust in a rifle. One of the challenges I'm the most nervous about would probably be shooting. I think on the day there's always quite a bit of pressure and intimidation. You can have a, a good day where you blast everything as you need to on, you know, in terms of the targets and then you can have a shocker where you just miss a single shot here or there and that's basically the end of your day. You should have the ability to control most potentially dangerous situations without even thinking about using the firearm. Yeah, I spend a lot of time shooting, shooting ranges and stuff, so that is actually one of my more relaxed challenges out of all of them. Of all the challenges for me, the one that I'm probably the most comfortable with is, is the game drive. I think that's what I do most days, so that would probably be um, what I feel like I'd, I'd do the best at. The importance of the drive and observing how the guides deliver the vehicle-bound safari experience is because it does tend to become the space within which the guests spend most of their time. It's definitely birding is the thing that I feel most comfortable with in terms of categories that we have here. Birding is one of the fastest growing activities or outdoor activities that there is in the world. So for a guard to be taking people out into the environment and to have an understanding of birding, bird calls and bird ID is very important. It creates the whole package of a field guard. I say the birding and the call definitely for me, <laughs> it was quite a big challenge. We've got uh, lots of birds, especially the small ones, lux and firefinch. So the five criteria, number one, understanding the needs of a photographer on a vehicle, like space to store gear, ability to move from side to side on a vehicle. With this power shot, it's quite a very powerful tool to have. I mean, I got to use Roger's 400mm f2.8 lens for a couple of hours. Between 62, 63, 64, 68%. That's how close you guys were. That tiny little bit of effort. The extra mile that I did on the first night to ask the photographers if they need bin back. We look at their hospitality skills from hosting to setups, to just general professionalism of taking care of their equipment. It's their attire and also their manners and just general, you know, attention to detail with guests and finding out what guests need and, and then accommodating that. My storytelling, it was spread. Everybody, I believe, when they laugh, they were enjoying it. Some of them, you know, they are so funny and some of them, they are more educational. So you learn and you actually have fun at the same time. Probably one of the challenges that you, you, you worry about and you, you stress about until the moment comes. And once it's over, it's, you know, it wasn't as bad as it actually seems to be. Storytelling is essential, um, never mind important to the guiding industry because it's such a, a great platform for other guides to learn from. 